So we currently have um, an outside community member who just so happened to be on campus. The car broke down. Uh, university police, of course, went to, to respond to, to give them a hand, try and help them start their, their vehicle. And when they ran uh, that individual's uh, license number, they realized that he had outstanding warrants. As soon as he realized that he was about to be arrested, he barricaded himself in the vehicle. He does have a knife uh, in the vehicle with him, so they want to, of course, make sure that he does not harm himself or anyone else in the vicinity. So, um, University Police called in Thibodeau Police as they have uh, negotiators and, and tactical uh, squads that are trained uh, specifically to do that. So, Thibodeau Police is uh, assisting Nichols Police on, on the case. Uh, I was just told that a state police negotiator is en route. So, they are negotiating with him. Uh, they are. They have a good, a good conversation going back and forth with him. We, we don't know how long the situation is going to last at this point, but um, ultimately the goal is for, for nobody to get hurt in this instance. Uh, they've not released the suspect's name to us yet, um, but the, the suspect is uh, in police custody. Uh, he's going to be transported over to Thibodeau, uh, Thibodeau Regional uh, for treatment. Uh, the, the loud bang that you, you may have heard or students may have heard on campus uh, was not gunshots, it was a flash bang used to distract um, the suspect so that they could get into the vehicle and, and get him out. Um, but everything uh, went as planned and there were, there were no injuries in, in that range. All right, so we see you transporting him out in a, you know, ambulance van. Just talk about how, you know, he possibly could have needed medical attention from that. Um, so he, he was brought out in, in an ambulance uh, to the medical facility only because he was uh, threatening to harm himself. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's going in for an, a, a mental evaluation. Okay. 